hi hi good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on wherever you're located and welcome again to this video in this video we are going to discuss an article i published yesterday on lanscourse.com which is four ways prayers help me to be a healthy software developer so uh, i was supposed to make a, a youtube video of it and while i was taking note on the video the outlines of the video i realized that wow it could also be an article so i published yesterday and unfortunately i could not shoot the video yesterday and i decided like let's catch up right now this morning and let's get into it so what is the point of writing such thing what is the point of seeing such thing you know some people thought okay you know this guy is trying to uh send us the gospel and so on and so forth uh, nothing of such uh the point is it's it is indeed something i have noticed uh that it has been helping me a lot for so many years now it's not something i just realized today no it is something that i've noticed so long ago uh, i used to have uh, these discussions with friends and they will be like you know ahmed uh, you are a pan-africanist you know and why is it that you still pray and all these things you know uh we are human beings and we are weak at some point we have to admit and when you are like that you need to understand that you need to look for ways to survive you need to look for ways to maintain the body you need to look for ways to stick to discipline you know you need to get ways in order to remain kind of consistent in whatever you do and one of these ways that help me in my case personally is observing prayers as a muslim Yes, it's not because uh, I'm not just doing that because I'm, I want to do, but I, I, I actually got born. I was born in in, in an Islamic family and in, in a Muslim community. So it has been part of me right from my birth. So uh, what are these advantages I'm talking about in this article? So the first one is I mentioned uh, the elimination of loneliness. It is indeed, as you can, you know, if you've been in the field of software development for quite some time, you might notice that it is quite a loneliness activity. You know, every single time you seem to be alone, even if you are in a complex, uh, in, a, in, in an office uh, with so many other developers, you still have to be alone. You know, yes, you have pair programming, but it's not always at some point. I mean, in most cases, you definitely have to be alone and work. So this habit of being lonely and lonely and lonely can develop this uh, a habit of uh, quietness. You know, you become more a quiet person, having issues to articulate when you are speaking, as you could notice in me sometimes. So it is due to this activity of loneliness every time. And as a Muslim, uh, you are of to go to the mosque at least uh on the fridays you know you have, you have to go and pray the friday prayer where you meet the community you meet the crowd you feel you, you blend with the crowd you know you feel like that you are part of the community but in normal situation you have five times in a day to go and meet people talk to people and you can ask you could know in our community, it's more about greetings, you know, talking, exchanging. For example, in my in my community, you can stand and greet somebody for two, three minutes, even sometimes five minutes just to greet. So it creates this kind of connection and this kind of, uh, uh, you know, chemical relation that, that makes that helps you to to survive, you know. So um, apart from that, the other one I mentioned, the other problem I mentioned was um, the short intermediate uh, the short and intermediate pauses which is um because we have to pray five times and you have to stand up every almost two to three hours of between two three four hours somehow uh to go and and, and have some pause what it means is after you pray the early uh, the prayer in, of early in the morning so you probably start your day so at that time few of us will start our day by then but after that you we assume you start your day so you have you still have three five uh, three main prayers again to do before the end of the day or four prayers if you close for example around seven gmt that's my time uh then you have four times to pray again but if you are going to close from work at um like five or six 
then you still have three prayers to make so in between these prayers you have some time to rest you know so what i mean is at, at a time of those prayers you you get some time to rest so the prayer of afternoon the first prayer of the afternoon you get some two three minutes five minutes to rest to relax and to be alone to be to yourself to meditate on yourself and then come back with fresh brain then the following prayer in the afternoon you do the same thing and then the prayer in the evening uh, and then you do the same thing and if probably you stay at work till six seven then you do the last prayer and you see in between you always get a time to relax and then get your brain a bit recovered so it is really something that has been helping me sometimes i get so hot in my brain i get so really really uh intimidated by the code i am working on to the extent that i don't know what to do i feel like i should get somebody to talk to but this is not the time to talk to somebody because when you talk to people, it distracts you at that time because your mind is really focused on that solution. What do I do to come up with the solution with this code? What should I do? What, how do I implement it? So when you are in this state, this is not the time to talk to somebody. But when you shift and you go for a prayer, you stand there and you, you kind of start to talk to yourself, you start to talk to yourself, you revise all these things in your mind and in most cases in most cases to be honest it helped me a lot it's not a miracle of god uh that aside that aside it is something part of human brain part of human psychology part of the chemical in us you know so this is it then the other advent advantage is the physical health you know it's normal doing all these up and downs and all this it helps a lot and so many people actually publish on the healthy advantages of this movement we make uh in during the prayer so uh, if you are a, you are somebody who does sports you should understand what that means so definitely it's an obvious advantage so the next which is uh the discipline is uh something i really really consider very seriously uh you know uh, we can't achieve much we can't do much if we are not disciplined in ourselves you know uh, any successful person any successful person will always credit discipline first you know it, there's nothing else you can do nothing is easy in life nothing is easy in life so the only thing that can make it look easy for one person to another person is their level of discipline to themselves the differences between us are defined by the different our uh, by the different levels of our discipline for ourselves so praying five times in a day is kind of you being automatically disciplined so from childhood, if it does, if you have been from childhood, but no matter the time you, you've been into the community, but you see that you build that habit of uh, being alerted every time there's, it reaches the prayer time, you kind of become alerted like, wow, I need to, I need to move on and do something. I have something to do. I have something. So every time there's, uh, it, every prayer time actually alerts you to be conscious of the time. You see, you realize, wow, okay, it is already this time because when they say, okay, this is the first after uh, afternoon prayer, you are like, oh, already? Okay, what have I done so far in my way? What have I achieved already in the day? Okay, so I have to do this and get this done before the next prayer of the afternoon or I have to get this and done before the last prayers of the day. So automatically the prayers becomes like your brain watch, your brain clock, not brain wash. <laughs> So brain watch. So it becomes like a watch in your brain that actually helps you to always brainstorm wherever you are, what you have achieved so far. And this is really one of the most important things to me in these prayers. So uh, like I said, like I concluded with uh, in the article, uh, this is not to say, you know, become a Muslim, be that. No, this is really far from being uh, a religious person. This is more of uh, the science behind religious uh, behaviors, religious uh, attitude, and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to share these advantages. And I believe everybody, all of us, have these things, these tools we use to recover. 
because to me it is important for a software developer to be healthy and uh, i can't mention so many uh, how many times i've mentioned that in many of my articles where i really emphasize on the health of a software developer because no health nothing and software development is one of the fields where even the slides the, the smallest uh disease sickness could damage you could damage so many things in your day or in your life so i believe it is very important for us to be healthy and that does not matter how we get the health as far as we don't hurt anybody that does not matter we just need to get healthy and these are some of the tools i have been using to get myself healthy so if you have other ways you do to stay healthy strong software developer kindly share with us give us your tricks and your ways of doing things share with us in the comment section and if you like this video please give it a thumb up like it and if you think there's somebody out there that might be interested in having such information just share this video with them and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do that Thank you so much and see you in my next video.